What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less, y'all stick around to the end. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about forgiving a narcissist. How many times are you going to, going to forgive the same person for doing the same things over and over again? Stay tuned, like and subscribe. See you later. If you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, ask yourself this question right here. How many times are you willing to forgive someone for doing the same thing over and over again? Because narcissistic people see forgiveness as permission to continue doing the action over and over again. If you keep forgiving the lying, they're going to keep lying to you. If you keep forgiving the cheating, they're going to keep cheating on you over and over again because they think you're okay with it. You forgive me for doing the same thing five other times. What's the problem now? What's changed now? Yes, they might apologize and say sorry. I'm sorry for everything. But apologies without change is just manipulation, y'all. It absolutely is. And repeated mistakes that they keep making over and over again are not, uh, are not errors. They're not lapses in judgment. They're not accidental. This is a consistent pattern of behavior. So again, how many times are you willing to forgive the same person for doing the same things over and over again? They don't see you as being a good person because you forgive them. They see you as being a weak person that lets them get away with everything. So straight to the point, y'all, how much forgiveness you got in you? How much forgiveness you got in you? Seriously, I posted the same video on Instagram and somebody put a verse from the Bible on there about forgiveness. You could, y'all, don't let religious and spiritual, spiritual manipulation keep you in toxic ass relationships. The Bible says forgive. It doesn't say reconcile. You don't, that person does not get to stay in your life the same way they were. When they, once they betrayed you, they don't get to keep playing the same role over and over again. They don't get to do that. They don't get to do it over and over again. Why? Why? How much forgiveness do you have in you? They're not going to change. You've forgiven them four or five times for doing the same thing over and over again. I just hope that they'll get it this time. Why would they get it this time if they didn't get the previous four or five times? You can forgive them if you can forgive them if forgiveness is in your heart. But if it's not in your heart, then you don't have to forgive them. Forgiveness is not a necessity. Everybody's not going to be religious, y'all. Y'all can't keep throwing Bible verses to everybody because everybody doesn't have the same religion you do. Y'all throw a Bible verse at a at a, at a Muslim, they be like, "Look, I, we not I'm." what you know what I mean it doesn't work on everybody everybody has different religious beliefs some people don't believe in God at all so the religious stuff doesn't work you know what I mean you can forgive you don't have to reconcile once they once they betrayed you over and over again they don't get to play that same role they don't get deserve that same spot in your life so why do they get to keep the same spot because if you did the same thing to them that they did to you they would demote you in their life they will remove you from your post they will downgrade you in their life and continue to devalue you if they keep you around you will not be in the same role they will not look at you the same they will look at you different why why are you granting them this same thing why are you granting them reprieve in your heart you can forgive. You don't have to reconcile with them, y'all. Narcissistic people see con consistent, constant forgiveness as permission to keep doing the same thing over and over again. They just absolutely do. So if you want to keep this, you want that person to keep looking at you like you're a piece of meat, like you just don't, like they're going to keep looking at you like you're weak. This, hey, I know I got caught cheating four times, but she's going to forgive me. She's going to forgive me again. He's going to forgive me again. Like, he loved me. We got kids together. He loved me. He's going gonna, he gonna to forgive me. Stop. They look at you like you're weak. They don't look at you like you're their, their equal. They look at you like you're beneath them. Beneath. With an F. Beneath. Beneath them. When are you going to? It's up to you. Y'all can keep. You can go read the Bible, but act on it. God didn't put you here to suffer. God didn't put you, God, he, Jesus did that for you. Y'all believe in Jesus? Jesus did that for you. You believe in Jesus? Jesus did that for you. Jesus suffered for you. God didn't put you on here to endure abuse, my son or my daughter. Keep forgiving this person. Stay in this toxic ass relationship because the Bible says so. The Bible tells you so. Y'all heard the song? No, it don't. Empower yourself. You don't have to forgive. You can, you don't, I mean, you don't have to forgive. You don't have to reconcile with them. You don't. You just don't. They view constant forgiveness as weakness. They look at you as a weak person that keeps forgiving them. They don't look, they don't value you anymore the same way. They just don't. You don't have any boundaries. You can't say no to somebody. Good luck. Good luck. 
Anyway, I'm cutting this thing short. I told y'all the short edition, the short version. Stay tuned for more episodes. I get, I'm getting more and more passionate the more 2022 goes on, y'all. Like and subscribe for more. As always, Mental Hillness is out. Peace.